everyone. Hope you're doing awesome. Chris and I are still on the quest for the perfect scrap wood project. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll add a link right here to our last video. I think it'll be right here. Sounds about right. And this week, we went ahead and we made some bowls. Not those kind of bowls. What is going on in your head? These kind of bowls. And we're going to walk you through step by step how we did that. So sit down, hit subscribe. I'm looking at you. And let's go. The first thing we do is measure the center of the board so that we can take it over to the jointer. We create a flat edge so that we can take it to the table saw, cut the live edge off, and then cut each down to six inches since our jointer is only six inches. We want to face the halves and joint the sides so we can glue it all back together. We're gonna go ahead and trim it up and then run it through the planer just so that it's all even. And then we took a piece of scrap walnut and that's what we're going to use to put in between these two pieces of wood that we cut. I make some simple swirly lines and Chris cuts them with the bandsaw. At this point we're ready to glue in the second piece of walnut. Now Chris forgot that he promised one of the teenagers that he'd take them driving and since I don't teach kids how to drive, I volunteered to go ahead and finish clamping it up.
one more time through the bandsaw with the other line that I made. This one was a little tough because it kept sliding. So I used these little clamps just to make my life easier. So we go ahead and we mark the center. We know we want two bowls, but we also mark where we're gonna start chiseling out those bowls. grinder and then chisels and then an angle grinder and then chisels for quite a while to get the initial shape of the bowls. years later. Once we had the initial shape, we went ahead and cut the board in half. So I made this really cool little jig so that he was able to go deeper with the router and just follow along, but of course the battery died in the camera so he didn't get any shots of him using it. cut the angles from the bottom. Now we pick the angles pretty randomly. I decided that I like them going in rather than out.
At this point, Chris realizes that there's a pretty large gap in the wood. So he's gonna go ahead and take some sawdust, some glue, mix that up, sand it all down, and voila, no more gap. Amazing! one more time and then I went ahead and used furniture butter. These are kind of just catch-all bowls that you can throw your keys in or whatever at the end of the day. However, walrus oil is all food safe. Everything, the furniture butter, the oils, all food safe. So if we were making a bowl to eat out of, furniture butter would also be fine. let it set for about 24 hours and here's the final product and that's it the whole process took only about a day we got these two beautiful bowls out of it that we're going to be displaying in our store we hope you enjoyed the build don't forget to hit subscribe i already told you and i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day or rest of your night and we'll see you next time also i was talking to chris we should have some kind of like sexy intro like the other youtube girls but I'm not really sure I can do that. You know, they're all like, whoa, whoa, with their tools. <laughs> I don't know what's happening anymore. <laughs>